All right, so the reason why I think this is a mapping sensor is because I don't, normally on an engine, the way I think it goes, you got old piston going up and down, and it's turning old crankshaft, and off that crankshaft's an old flywheel with a permanent magnet on it that goes spinning round and round, and when that permanent magnet passes by the coal, it's in the correct timing with the engine, and so when it passes by, it makes the coal energize, which sends a spark up there to hit it, go back up, go boom, right on time. Can't just timing or nothing really special like that. And it all stays together. And just go round, round, round. And you got a big old thing on your flywheel. But since this thing got to be different, and it's got two cylinders, instead of just one big old cylinder, I guess to make it quiet or something but you know I just don't know I don't I ain't got no books I got a pocket knife and so I kind of carried like this thing shot out I think I'm going to have to invest in some high quality lighting oops I don't know how to make the lights be no better besides get some light bulbs, I guess. Y'all see any way to take this thing apart? Looks like it's made out of all the same stuff on the outside. And I guess they, this is probably some sort of little computer board or something. And down here in the bottom, I bet there ain't nothing. Cause, and they just done filled this thing all the way up. I think what we're going to have to do is, I guess, stick it in the vise and bust it apart. Mm. Somewhere down in there went through. Oop, I felt it. And you don't want to have to put this thing on ten times. Probably should just go ahead and order one. Sure don't. Won't go to no doctor and get no stitches. So try and take it nice and easy. But this way, sometimes you know how when you go to emergency room, it's full of all them pretty nurses. And so you having a tough time telling them what happened to you because, you know, you didn't stab yourself. You was fighting a gorilla or something, and you was trying to save some little orphan nanny from the zebra or whatever the hell down Save it from the Amazon jungle line. What are you calling things? Anacondas or something? That snake that just eats you up. Swallow you whole like an old tree rat or something. Well, that's where the thing went, but I, I mean, this thing is slap covered up with the googly gop hard phone crap. I mean, what do they do that for? Is this not a serviceable part? It still don't tell me why it burnt off. Well, I'm going to go ahead and look it up, and then we'll bust it open or something. Well, fellas, I found out this thing was called a CDI box. And I went ahead and Put it in my shopping cart to look at for a while. If any of y'all know what that's like. So I ordered it. And it'll be on the way. I'm sure it'll come like within two or three days shipping. Once I pay for it. But...
fear we take a sneak peek of what's inside this thing, some sort of witchy way. Got yeah, a bunch of mutts running around if anybody needs some mutts. We'll mail them to you. Fleas and all. Uh oh. I don't know what that was cracking about. If I could hold my mouth right, I should have just used skill saw. I guess could have cooked it off. I bet it's going to be stuck to the back of this guy, this top piece of plastic. Oh dear, that's what we heard snap. Skeet flying in my ear. Whatever that stuff is on the inside, it seems to have a good hold on it. It's awfully hard to get. It's hot. Try a razor blade. I thought I had one somewhere. Look at here. All right. We got some gooply goop, and you see where it burnt, where it melted. We got the top off. And you see all right in here, it just burnt up. Let's see if we can't get that cleaned up. And... Might have changed this video to how to bypass Mr. CDI box the right way. I don't know, there's there's some sort of harder plastic stuff down in there that's separate from this googly goop. But I guess if we attach 12 volt to that guy right there, she'll run. Y'all want to try it? So after we cut the top off that CDI box, and I tried soldering it back on, but I think it just kind of burnt up too bad. And I didn't have a soldering gun, and the old lighter technique just wasn't working. So, we ordered a new one. They're real proud of their work. No name, not even, let you know nothing. But it's got some of that gobbledygook that looks brand new. So hopefully we won't burn it out. Looks like we may have to change a connection there and here or something, but we're going to make this happen. Quite excited. Yeah, aren't you? 
Well, let me get it sound cleaned up and see what we can get it look like. All right, so we got the new box foot in. We got to still got to get rid of that connection you see right there and that wire nut. We got a new box. We rearranged that panel, got it reattached. I'm gonna hook up the battery and see what she does. All we gotta do is put the hot on there and see if anything happens. I'll set up the camera and we'll do some testing. All right, well, you got the positive just sitting on there in case something gets burning. We don't want to burn up our brand new box. We can snatch it off. And sure enough, when I was tightening up that solenoid, that bolt there with the yellow one going in where a positive runs into, it spun, it spun the whole shaft through the solenoid, so we'll probably have to replace the solenoid, take it back off. Key, I started to go ahead and replace the solenoid and the voltage regulator all at the same time. We got our voltmeter so we can see if we start overcharging or something. Well, I had the key on. It don't sound like we're getting no spark. But we got the Bart hooked up. Double check we're just choking it. You know how things can be. She got any gas going to her. Boy, that's a weak battery. And it's doing all right. Wonder if any gas might yeah, they got gas. Hmm. So no spark. Sounds like to me, somebody did something wrong. So we gotta double check everything that we did wrong. 